Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. This time I'm going to be using the Dear Lizzie Saturday Collection, which is a new collection that uh, was just released at the last CHA. And as you know, I've been packing up my craft room, but I kept this collection out because I thought it'd be fun to play with it. Um, only kept a little bit of things out. I kept my click kits out, my hip kit, and this collection right here from... Uh, dear Lizzie, and everything else is packed up. So I'm kind of limited on the stuff that I can use. Um, I kept out a few sprays. I kept out my Prima oil pastels that are reacting, reactive to water. I kept out my small distress inks from Tim Holtz. And so I kept out just a few little things, but it's enough that I can play when I have a few minutes. Now today is September 27th and we were supposed to move in or what we had thought would be the moving date of September 23rd at the latest. It was supposed to be today, September 27th, but there was a delay on the countertops, which up to last Friday, they had said October 6th with, ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but um, we found out today that they're actually coming on Friday the 30th and then um, then there's ex you know other stuff to do so um, we probably won't move till the 5th or the 6th but at least it's not just getting the cupboards in on that date so now I think the moving date is going to be next week which is going to be October 5th 6th 7th 8th those days which works out fine because I go back to work on the 30th. I have a training day and then I work the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. And this time around, it's all night. So I know at the end of it, I'm going to be exhausted. Um, and then we're going to start moving in. So I will be um, doing a little video clip of, you know, us moving and stuff like into the new house and my new scrap room, what it looks like at the beginning and then somebody suggested and it was a really good suggestion that I do um oh what's it called it's on your recording app time lapse a time lapse video and I probably do that every time I go we work in our my craft room I'll just set up the video camera and I'll videotape us putting up the craft room so be watching for that it should be up within I'm hoping within the next month um, so anyway back to this layout now once I decide that I'm going to use a white cardstock then I decide hey just use some six by six pattern paper from the same collection and kind of save your 12 by 12 for when you want to use them on a background or big layers and I knew this time that I cut down, I, I'm using three photos and I know that some of them I kind of cut two or three people out of it just so that I could focus on one of my kids. And that's because she's such a nutcase and I just wanted to do a layout showcasing that. And the title of the page is going to be The Apple Doesn't Fall Far From The Tree. And it's kind of funny because it's kind of apple picking and, you know, talking about the apple falling not far from the tree. Um, I like being silly and she is the clown of the family, literally. So it's hard for us to get her to have a serious look when we're taking a picture because she always wants to do, like I have to say, okay, that's that's enough silly pictures now. Let's do a, a serious, not serious, but a nice smile one. And um, so it takes forever. I usually have more of the crazy ones than, you know, the nicer ones. And so I cut her out of, out of the two. And then the, then we have a picture of the whole family. And there's uh, my mom and her husband and then my husband's mother. And then Caitlin, which is the girl that I'm focus, focusing on at this time. This is her, her ex. And, uh, so I, uh, to prepare the background, what I did was I put some clear gesso, I let it dry, and then I used my Prima um, oil pastels. And that's a new 
a product that I got from Hip Kits and I absolutely love it. So I kept those out. A lot of stuff is packed up right now. And now that I know a date even more, I'll probably uh, pack up even more. Um, <clears throat> and so I, I use those on the packaging technique and spread, spread it on the background. Like I said, I cut down two of those photos so that I could put a picture of my middle child, Caitlin, on each side of the, the family photo and so that it kind of focuses on her. And um, then, you know, I cut them down. So the, the whole thing is about, I'd say, four by four by eight, probably. And then I mounted the whole thing on some black cardstock. Now, <clears throat> by the time the video finishes, I don't end up remounting the whole thing on some black cardstock. But once I walked away from it and, you know, even like a couple weeks later, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, the white edges look so white, even though I'm going to end up uh, inking the edges with a Tim Holtz ink. I just find it's too white. It looks like it just gets lost. So I'm going to end up mounting the whole thing on the cardstock that I used to mount the photos. Now I'm going through some of the cut aparts and I like this arrow. Um, there's three arrows and three of different colors. There's a navy, a light blue and a green. And I'm going to use that to house part of my title. Okay, sorry, I keep having to stop the video because I keep losing my voice. So I'm going to go through and just cut out a few different um, pieces like that and just move it around on the layout and trying to figure out where I'm going to be, you know, use the embellishments. So a lot of the embellishments that I use for this layout is actually cut aparts. And I love the 6x6 for that because it has a lot of the patterns that are in the 12x12, 12 12, but it's smaller scale. So then that way you can use it on your layout as embellishments. And I love that. Now I love this little camera here, but in the end, I'm going to find that it's like itself, it's just too big. And I love the black frame around it, but I'm going to end up cutting it down because I find that it's too big. I'm going to take out that rubber camera, which I don't end up using. And hopefully I put it away because I didn't see it in the package there when I was clean. Oh, yes, it is. I put it back in the package. So all is good because I wouldn't want to lose that because it's my favorite embellishment in that package. Um, and then I cut out some more and I have the, the row of little cameras, which I don't end up using. I don't find a spot for it, but I do have I do use the little uh, embellishments or embellishment on that says Wild Heart kind of again kind of just referring to her craziness <laughs> she you I know that every family has um a clown right um there's a clown in every family and in our family she's the clown she's the one that will you know be crazy and make us laugh and whenever we're on vacation she's always like around the campfire she just cracks us up and just on a regular day <laughs> now she now lives about two hours away so we don't get to spend as many as much time with her as we would like although this week she took the entire week off thinking that we would be in the new house and she took the week off so that she could help me unpack but um we're not in so she's just um she's, she couldn't change her vacation so she still uh, came over and just relaxing I guess taking an actual vacation and uh, so we're enjoying having her around um, I did find in the sticker the washi tape book um, there is a washi tape that sort of has pink on the bottom and then stripes at the top and it kind of mimics that other piece that I took from um, one of the cut aparts with the black and white lines. So I'm going to use that and then I decide, okay, now it's time to start building this up and I'm going to build the background and I'm just going to use the six by six and just put it like that on the background. The red, I cut it down. I can't remember if I cut down the other picture or the other papers or not. I did this layout. Um, 
must be close to three weeks ago, almost a month ago now, and I just never had time to do the voiceover. And um, so I figured I would do the voiceover today and get that loaded up. And I only have a little bit of packing left, but I think I'm going to try and do a little bit every day because like I said, I go back on the 30th and I work five days in a row and uh, and then we're going to be moving. So, but there's not a lot left. It's very minimal what's left. So if I just do like an hour every day, I'll be done by Friday. No worries about that. And then um, the rest we'll just do as we move stuff out, then we'll just uh, and what I mean by the rest is like the stuff in our kitchen, you know, like you still have to eat. So you still need um, your plates and your forks and all this stuff until the day you move. So that stuff will just move um, the night before or something like that. We'll take an hour and uh, pack that stuff up. And uh, so it's getting exciting. It's getting a little bit unreal. It just feels like it's just been sort of pushed off for so long that um, it feels a little unreal but it's it's getting here and um, last weekend uh, my husband and I um, painted the boards that are going to go at the bottom of my desk because we're building a desk for my craft room because uh, with my back I have to scrap in my room now I only have an area where I can stand in my new room I want an area where I can stand but also an area where I can sit so um, <clears throat> the sitting one is easy it's just two of those recollections containers with melamine on top and all is done all is well but for the standing one we had to um, we got some two by eight by 12 feet and of course it's wood so we had to paint it white so that it matches so that we can build the frame for uh, my desk so that's painted white so that's a huge part of it so that's done and um, probably this weekend we'll start building the the frame for it so that when we move in all we have to do is just plop those recollections count cases or whatever they're called on top of it and my desk will be done yay <laughs> and it's it's going to be I mean it's not our main main focus because obviously moving in is our main focus but since we can't move in anyway we figured that we would get something done that we could get done and um, so I'm looking forward to that so now I didn't want to waste that little pink washi tape so I just kind of ripped the edges of the other part that I wanted to use and I like the ripped edges anyway and I'm going to use it in a few spots and it's just going to bring in it's not exactly the same but it's close enough and uh, those are going to be the three areas of embellishments that I'm going to make so the the bottom one is where I took a piece of the six by six cut apart and it has a camera and then I put some of the washi tape over top and then I'm going to put those arrows and that's where I'm going to put um, the the second part of my title and then I did take some distress ink and it's in mode long mode lawn <laughs> a hard time saying that and um, I just ink the edges of all the um, papers and also around the white cardstock just to kind of bring it all in together now I still haven't cut down that uh, piece right here because you can you can take away but you can't add it back so I waited till I was absolutely sure yes it's not going to fit it's too big and then I cut it down and then I'm just going to ink the edges in the green and now it fits much better the proportion is just better for all the other embellishments so the embellishments at the bottom is where is going to be my big embellishment cluster and also I like to put my title with one of the embellishments not always but a lot of time so uh, so that's going to be my embell big embellishment cluster plus I'm going to add my title the top one is going to be my medium embellishment cluster and then the top left is going to be my 
itty bitty one. So as you go from embellishment clusters, they get, get they keep getting uh, smaller and smaller. A lot of this stuff is the same, but just in a smaller version. And so the the biggest camera though is I found it fit better in the middle cluster but there's less other stuff after that um, because if I would have put that camera where I have my title the camera would have been kind of overpowering to the rest of the title and um, I love that little six by six sheet with all the little cameras but I knew the puffy stickers had a little camera so I decided to use that one first I love these puffy stickers. I'm going to take a few of the arrows, one in red, one in green, and then um, then a little green puffy camera at the top one there. So there's a camera in each in each little cluster, and that works out great. And then there's a little bird, and I thought that would work so well with this layout because we're outside and. It just looks so cute, but I couldn't find a spot for it. Then I took the Dear Lizzie clear stickers and I took out um, three little hearts and I spread them out throughout the three embellishment clusters. And now I believe that I'm looking for some alphas to work on my title. And the alpha that I went to grab is my Doodlebug Tinsy type letters. And they come in a variety of colors. This, all the colors that Doodlebug are famous for. And uh, I love them. There's three different fonts on one sheet. And I couldn't find my wax paper, but I did find this parchment paper. And what this is good for is if you want to make your own enamel dots using those perler beads or the pony beads, you can put this at the bottom of your cookie sheets so that they won't um, they won't stick to your cookie sheets obviously and uh, so I have a whole roll of that and it's not as clear at, as the uh, wax paper but I mean I was just gonna make do because I could not find the my wax paper and so I'm working on my title at first I thought you know maybe I'm not gonna do it at the bottom like I said I was gonna do it at the top and see how it looks. And that's what I like about the wax paper is that you can move your things around and you can get a feel of what it's gonna look like before you take the time to put all those little letters <laughs> onto your layout just to find out, no, that's not how I like it. And then you gotta peel all those letters up again. And, um, so the apple part is from the Amy Tangerine. They're thickers, and I don't remember what collection they're from. And this is where I was like, yeah, I like that a whole lot more. And I can use those three little arrows to put all my title. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna cut them apart and then, um, or maybe I'm just gonna wing it and just put it on because only so many words fit on each row anyway. And like I said, I did this layout almost a, a month ago, so I don't really remember <laughs> what I did. But I think I figured, ah, I mean, the most I can fit on that one arrow is two words anyway. So, um, and the way I have the little circles overlap, I can pick up a whole word together without having to move all the letters. So it's all good. I can just pick them up and move them. And then I'm going to put the apple and it kind of works out perfect because it kind of says the apple and then arrow doesn't fall far from the tree. So I really like that. And I'm going to put um, the title there. At first I was kind of thinking um, when I put the word apple, you know, the most of the letters fell off the pattern paper and I didn't like that. So that's where I went and found a label. And I'm going to put it underneath there and then at least it's all pattern paper it's not um, well one of them is kind of a label but it looks like it kind of belongs the way it is and there we go and I'm going to put the directly on the photo and I really love the background the way it turned out but I want to add some more sprinkles so I'm going to go get some uh, shimmers in 
the colorings I got don't citron me and that is a color that came in the hip kit just this this last one that I ordered I think it was August yes it was August and then I got the hero arts um, spray and I found it was too red or too pink maybe so then I went and got um, or maybe I started no I started with the paint and um, I did like three layouts after this. So I guess I went with the paint. <laughs> uh, the paint dauber. It is called, what is it called? Classic Cherry. So it's a nice red. And um, so I just dabbed it on uh, a piece of packaging, added some water, and then used a paintbrush and added some sprinkles and did the same with the green and now i'm using some ranger enamel i believe in the green and it is called i don't know if it has a name there's just um a code for it but it's in the green Oh, and oh my goodness, the page, the page is done. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.